have my beautiful light workers, Starseed family, Soul Tribe family, <laughs> my friends, my family. I hope that you're all doing well. So I decided to change my angle again. <laughs> I'm doing my best to change all the angles. I try always something different. Uh, you let me know if you like it this way so that you could probably see the cards on the table. Uh, as I as the other, um, I, I've been wanting to try something different. So let me know how you feel about this way, seeing me this way. Uh, so um, uh, before we start the readings, you know, I always start with a mini meditation and I'm going to, because there's a lot of new subscribers here. So welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. I'm very happy for all of you to be here. And uh, so uh, I'm, of course, going to invoke Mother Gaia, Earth, for those of you that do not know who Mother Gaia is. Um, I'm, I'm going to invoke my higher self, my innate, the Holy Spirit, and the universe to be here. Of course, my archangels, angels, fairies um, of, uh, are all going to be present and protecting the reading. So ensure that uh, you're going to see a lot of orbs flying around. Okay, so uh, my fairies sometimes are around too. And uh, last but not least, my ancestors. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in, relax, and I'll uh, use the singing bowl to uh, for intentions and clearing and protection. Okay, so let's get started. Perfect. So I want to uh, say to you that my mom sends all of you love and light um, and a lot of peace and uh, to your heart and to your family with her healings. Uh, she welcomes you to, uh, you know, if you need uh, a prayer for someone in your family or your friend or someone or just even for the collective or for the planet, uh, make sure you leave, uh, in, you leave it in the comments below. And uh, so my mom and I, we're going to take just two seconds. You can feel us through the heart chakra that my mom and I are sending all of you love, peace, protection, and light. And she will continue to uh, do her healing modalities and prayers uh, three times a day here on YouTube and also for the collective. And I want to thank everybody here from the, from the bottom of my heart for all of those of you that have still been with me. Thank you for being on my journey. I'm so ha happy that I met all of you here and uh, especially my Soul Tri family. Thank you so much for all being here, the old souls. And um, let's get started with your reading now. Okay, be right back. Hi Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 27th to October 3rd of 2021. How are you all doing, my beautiful Aquarians? I hope you're doing well. Well, the reason I'm late for the readings, I'm sure a lot of you know out there, is that my mom wasn't feeling good uh, this prior week. And so for two days, I was, uh, you know, giving her a lot of uh, healing energy and being around her. And so I couldn't be uh, doing the readings. But I'm here tonight and, I'm, you know, it's always in divine timing. So Aquarians, let's get started with your reading. We're going to start with what the universe has in store for you. Okay? So... Let's check this out together. Aquarius, from September 27th 
to October 3rd. What is the messages that the universe want to relay to you? Okay. You got two cards, so we're going to take a look at them. Or is it one? I'm not sure. Oh, it's one card. It says you are born. Okay, so at number five. Okay, it's all about changes. Number five. Uh, you are being called into service. Believe in your own guidance. Believe in your own guidance, Aquarius. All right. Now we're going to look at the animal totem that's with you this week and what archangels are with you at the same time. And what is the message here for you? I'm so happy to be here with all of you here. You got the hedgehog, the hedgehog, and it's Archangel Gabriel that's with you today or this week. It says, be a magnet for light, love, and joy. Be a magnet for light, love, and joy. Now we're going to look at what your challenge is of the week. So what it is that you need to surrender to this week, Aquarius. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Aquarius, speak your needs and be and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So surrender the habit of people people pleasing. And now we're gonna take out the angel numbers to see what are the angels numbers that are with you this week. So the first card you got is um, the sacred number of zero. And it's, uh, your affirmation is, I am limitless. I am limitless. I am limitless. And so it, be, uh, so it is. So Aquarius, there is no beginning and no end. All is an infinite. It is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You're gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. Zero. The next one is number six. I am nurturing, I am nurturing, I am nurturing, and so it is. Aquarius, your heart is your gift. You are a natural-born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. So six, and then you got number 16. I am perceptive, I am perceptive, I am perceptive, and so it is. Aquarius, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So you got 0616, okay? And you could also do like, you could you could change like, you could do 6016 or 1660. Whatever this combination is for you, this is going to be a uh, confirmation of your reading with me. So I'm just going to put the cards here on the side and we're going to get started with your reading. Okay. This reading is for Aquarius Sun and anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. Remember, it's a general read, so it may or may not resonate. If it does, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't and you're confused, then look at your rising. Uh, look at your moon, which is emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And your north node is about your purpose. In this reading, I will show you your recent past, your current energy, your immediate future. What is hidden from you and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify. After that, whatever signs that show up in your reading will have a bonus round with heart to heart, soul to soul. And after the bonus, we will I will give you a crystal card, a sacred geometry card. And last but not least, I will give you also a star seed oracle card. So I hope that you stay tuned for all the reading so that you could achieve your highest potential and higher understanding when, um, through the reading, okay? 
So let's get started. Aquarius. Okay, let's look at this together. In the overall energy, Aquarius, you have the Two of Swords reverse. So there was some type of decision, something that was spoken, something that was uh, that's being uh, told from the heart energy. Okay, so uh, a very beautiful energy of uh, not being indecis uh, indecisive about a situation here. In the recent past, you got the Seven of Swords followed by the five of wands like this energy maybe uh, at this time uh, in the past it, some of you were keeping very quiet uh, maybe are trying uh, try not not saying anything uh, it could have been someone around you that was very deceitful trying to get away with something now feel free like, of course Aquarius this is your reading but uh, if it does not apply to you maybe vice you're going to swap the energies around if it's about someone that you know yeah now what's crossing you is the five of wands so there was a lot of competition jealousy uh just a lot of energy of drama and fighting in a situation. And I feel here with the Two of Pentacles reversed, something got dropped. Okay, a decision was made and something got dropped here. Now, in the current energy, you have the Death card, followed by, uh, of course, the Devil reversed and uh, the, Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so in the current energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with Capricorn. If you're not dealing with this, these signs, this only talks about where... There's endings and new beginnings taking place. Okay, a huge transformation that you're going through this current week. Um, this is Saturn energy as well. So uh, for those of you that follow your chart, uh, there's some type of freedom here that's taking place for you. And what's also coming up is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this could be you and your energy. Very nurturing, very loving energy here. Someone that's emotionally available and that's ready. Or there's someone around you that is in this energy. In the immediate future, you got the Empress energy, Venus. Venus is about love and finances here. There's new opportunities for you. This is about having that minus touch. This is about creativity, fertility, productivity. And the Empress uh, is an energy that lets, you know, someone come. It's about receiving a lot of love energy also. Very loving energy here. Could be a mother energy that's with you as well, okay, uh, for some of you out there. And uh, in the hopes and fears, you got the five of cups. So yeah, you're releasing a lot. Maybe a lot of you are not saying anything. And this has been going on for a while now, okay? You're keeping things to yourself. You don't really talk about like what you're going through, your feelings. Uh, maybe you don't have anybody to talk to about it probably. But this is about releasing uh, the hurt, the resentment, the guilt. And it's about seeing the silver lining in the situation, whatever the situation is for you. Um, you know, and a spirit saying here that you need to, uh, some of you are looking at only the things that went wrong and to, some of you need to look at the bigger aspect of the whole situation because there is something here that you are trying to release. Okay. Or let go of, when I say let go, it's not meaning letting go of a person. It's just a, about the emotions, you know, and it's like, uh, also with grief, you can't really let go with grief. You know, yes, you can let, eventually it, it, you could heal. That's true. And you learn to cope with the person that that's not around any any longer as well, okay? But it's about finding the silver lining here. And in the possible outcome, you got the fool. So there's a doorway, a pathway that's opening up for you. And it's about new beginnings. It's about you taking a leap of faith. Now we're going to clarify the cards. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. We're going to clarify the two of swords reverse in the overall energy.
Okay. So there's, there was some type of decision that was rendered, whether it's you or vice versa, the energy. And uh, this could have been with someone uh, that was, uh, with the King of Pentacles reverse, someone that was not stable, uh, was not or maybe someone that was not stable, not successful in the situation. There was some type of unstableness. And, but what they're saying is that there was, uh, there's no more confusion about it. You made a decision. So some type of decision was rendered here where you're very clear and you know where you're going. And with the Capricorn energy here, it's about finding a, a new path. Uh, this is a breakthrough that took place from toxic people, unhealthy people, patterns, addictions, whatever it is. There's a breakthrough here. And this is Saturn energy. Saturn, the planet Saturn is really helping a lot of you out there. And of course, Venus is also here. <clears throat> now, let's look at the Seven of Swords in the recent past. So what is this Seven of Swords about? So the Seven of Swords talks about the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands reversed, and the King of Wands. So simply, definitely here, there was some type of heartbreak, loss, grief that took place with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so a lot of you maybe were carrying this to yourself. Uh, maybe it was because it was a lot. Maybe there was someone around you that had or people around you that could be lies or deception, okay? And uh, what it shows me is that um, <clears throat> you moved forward pretty quickly from this situation. Well, you, I, I, I would say about, for some of you, it took about 10 months, but uh, whoever that you were making plans with, whatever you were making plans with, whether it was with yourself or, or with the universe or with people around you or a specific person, uh, here I see that there's some type of freedom or something that got, released from you so that you could have moved forward and with the king of wands you went straight for it okay so the king of wands could be a, uh, an aries lee or sagittarius so it doesn't have to be the sign um but it could be a, this could be you an energy that you went after what you truly wanted okay with passion here now let's look at the five of wands why is the five of wands here in the recent past you got justice reversed death reversed And the five of pentacles reversed though you're still going for the five of cups energy of loss hurt pain make people maybe that passed away around you uh that was a lot of heartbreak here uh you also uh, you know were feeling left out uh abandoned ghosted gaslighted maybe loss of a job loss of money but you really fell alone and always looking in the past why you're you were alone okay in the situation because you there's a lot of emotions and that are involved in a lot of like drama or fighting in a situation here. And uh, of course, something was not in balance whatsoever. So if something is not in balance here for some of you, uh, maybe you're dealing with a Libra. There could have been lies in a, a situation or something that, uh, you know, that uh, you're trying to bring into balance. And there's a lot of resistance. Okay, uh, scared. Someone here is scared to change or scared to change. Uh, there's a lot of fears based energy here. Now let's look at the two of pentacles reversed in the uh, recent uh, recent past. So you got the fool reversed, the six of cups. Okay, so yeah, you know something got dropped, or you dropped something, or something got dropped, or someone got dropped. It could be a job, or just dropping things or people around you. Uh, and not taking that leap of faith, okay? And uh, some of you were still like having, uh, feeling very nostalgic about the past, uh, uh, memories of the past here. But what Spirit is showing me very clearly here is that with the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, uh, this is what Spirit wants you to focus on, okay? Not, okay, I understand that you need to acknowledge these feelings and whatever that you're going through. But what Spirit wants you to acknowledge here is that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's abundance coming around you. There will be an offer with the Page of Pentacles coming in. It's a bit, Pages are all about new beginnings taking place. The start of uh, the Ace of Cups talks about abundance in any shape or form. It's about returning to unconditional love. Very peaceful energy. And with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter being here, um, this is like it's coming in very soon. Okay, because, uh, of course, uh, Jupiter is, is still in retrograde, but will be moving out of retrograde very, very soon. Okay. And it's about second chances, the wheel turning in your favor. This is about destined and uh, des something that's destined and faded and a lot of luck energy. And that's what they want you to concentrate on, okay? Now, in the current energy, you've got the death card. There's a beautiful transformation here that's taking place for you. And let's look at the devil reversed here. So I want to look at the devil card reversed. you got the eight of swords, the five of cups again, 
and what else the six of pentacles okay let's look at the death card mm -hmm. okay and let's look at the queen of cups over here just gonna pick a few cards all right okay so in this transformation that you're going through whoever's going through this whether it's you or vice versa or you're feeling this within yourself okay someone here is going through the dark night of the soul and there's a huge transformation that's taking place okay someone here is taking time out in the current energy they're spending more time with themselves in their home with their pets with or their family uh it's about meditating it's also maybe also about reflecting on everything and it's there is there's a huge transformation here and maybe uh, you're not going to feel uh, in this current energy like there's going to be like a shift happening so maybe you're not feeling that uh with the queen of cups reverse that you're not in an emotional space right now that you could be around people and be vulnerable or talk about your emotions but what's going to take place is that you will okay come out of it in the current energy so give or take it might take a week or so and um then you have the sun shining on you total uh transformation that's going to take place uh, there's going to be happiness and joy around you okay and what what is it going to make you feel well it's going to make you feel stuck this week okay you're going to probably feel stuck you're going to feel stuck in a situation maybe you're overthinking about it there's also emotions you're trying to release and overthinking and with the six of pentacles it's like you're trying to bring something into balance in your life and it's coming for you this week so now let's look at the empress energy so this is about new opportunities that are coming your way and there's a lot of love here as well you got the eight of swords the tower and the seven of wands reversed okay now let's look at the five of cups and the hopes and fears temperance reversed the four ones reversed and the nine of pentacles okay so in the immediate future here what i am seeing is that there's going to be new opportunities for you something is going to come in crystal clear a lot of communication being focused being you know keeping you're very focused okay in, in the way you talk and the way you see things Okay, communication and the Ten of Cups. There could be a new beginning and love here for you. Um, this is a soulmate energy. The soulmate could be anybody. It doesn't have to be just about a love, like a partner. But for some of you, it could be a partner. Or for those of you single, it's uh, maybe a new, you know, um, you know, it could be a friendship. It could be a, a pet for some of you. Uh, some of you are going to be grandparents. I don't know what it is, but there's a there's an energy here of many things that could take place. Okay. And it's a new beginning that's taking place in love here or in, in your home, in your community, with your friends, with your family. But for some of you, there could be someone here that is uh, love for sure. Uh, the thing is that, uh, you know, for some of you, uh, just the the tower is coming in. Pluto is here. So there will be an uh, unexpected change. Uh, some of you will feel defeated when it takes place because, yeah, it's kind of scary. But it's not like scary, scary. Just like there's change coming. And some of you are not able to move forward. Uh, or travel at this time there's something here that you're not able to move forward yet okay but this is very positive energy and when i looked at the five of cups it showed me temperance reversed the four ones reversed and the nine but so you are working definitely on yourself you're very independent here you've been working on yourself and uh, yeah you know there was something that was unstable unstable in the home maybe on happiness in the home maybe too many people coming in like too much uh, activity surrounding the home and uh you know patience is needed so you're dealing with a sagittarius uh, patience is needed was needed in this situation and moderation uh, but they show me that you are someone here is really working on themselves and they're very independent now let's look at the eight of wands because there's going to be some type of communication here you got uh the queen of swords reversed the empress reversed the knight of swords the moon the five of swords reversed eight of pentacles reversed the emperor reversed okay let's look at this so you got the empress and the emperor here there's someone here definitely okay uh, i also have the emperor and the emperor reversed in what is hidden from you 
okay both are reversed here this is about missed opportunities it's about commitments that uh, some type of commitment that's whether it's work or love or situation that is not uh very strong here um there could also be like someone here needs to set strong boundaries uh someone here is very angry with the queen of swords reverse is not able to see things right angry there's anger here there's frustration as of course uh, no communication in a situation at that at this time but what they're showing me is that it's about releasing uh, you know the thoughts the negative patterns and also uh releasing people that did not have your good highest good here uh you a lot of you have released energy from this and the neptune uh, in pisces could be a pisces the moon energy the knight of swords there will be unexpected uh an unexpected um message coming in very passionate and fast-paced uh, but with the moon energy it talks about receiving what's yours but at the same time it also talks about fears so someone is there's a lot of fear in this energy okay some of you are fearful about the situation or you're on un, uh, uncharted ground or unknown grounds at this time and uh, maybe you're going through or someone around you is going through a very difficult situation here so let's look at the fool in the possible outcome in the pot yeah so you got the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Pentacles. This card wants to come out and the star. Of course, you came into your own reading, Aquarius. Um, so yeah, there's a new beginning, you know, and even though it's been difficult for you and you're forging ahead, okay, and some of you are resisting to this new change that's coming in for you. What they're showing me is that there's a wish fulfillment that's that's uh, that's going to be granted with the Nine of Cups reversed. And definitely there's someone coming in uh, that want, as a knight, two knights here, okay? The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Someone that's coming in here wanting to show love. Also, they're bringing in some stability, but they're taking their time. They're taking their time, okay? They're like, they're like, they're planning, they're planning ahead, okay? They're planning ahead and they're coming in, but slowly. But with the star card, maybe this talks about like uh, you having faith and trust and hope in the universe. It's about um, whatever you wish for is coming true. And it's about, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good blessing that's coming towards you, Aquarius. And underneath the deck, I have the two of swords uh, reversed. Okay, the two of swords reversed. So a decision is rendered here. It's about opening that heart chakra. You are doing the steps in releasing and healing in what is being shown to me, okay? And patience is the key in this, to remain patient, okay? So now let's look at your um, what signs showed up in your reading. And also, I will also let you know which planets, especially for those of you that, uh, you know, you look at your chart, your astrological sh chart often, I can't tell you the houses it falls on, but I will tell you which planets are affecting you, and you could check that out uh, to see uh, if uh, those planets are affecting you at this time, okay? So I'm just going to give me a second as I take the signs out. Aquarius. Scorpio. Libra. Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo and Scorp okay and Scorpio. So you got Scorpio twice in the reading. You got Capricorn twice into the also Capricorn the Devil card twice in the reading as well. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the planets that are affecting you. That will be affecting you. Maybe there's a uh, there's a uh, could be a sextile. Could also be a a, a, um, a square that's going to be taking place. Whatever it is. Uh, so it's Jupiter. So you have Jupiter, Venus. Pluto, Neptune, the South Node, and Mars. Six planets, okay? Jupiter, Venus, 
the south node in Sagittarius, Mars, Neptune, and Saturn. Okay, so those are the planets. But I have to go back because I think um, there's missing one card here, if I'm not mistaken. I just want to make sure that I have all the cards because I don't want to make a mistake. But I feel, but I could be wrong. Oh, you also got the Devil card twice, like I said. Do I have it here? Yeah, the Devil card here. I just want to make sure that I have all the signs. I think I'm missing one. Yeah, I think I am. Let me just give me a second. I remember. <clears throat> I don't have the Sagittarius card on the ground. Let's see. There we go. Temperance. Okay. So you got nine of the signs that showed up in your reading. All right. Nine of the signs that showed up in your reading. And now we'll do heart to heart, soul to soul. This could be about anybody in your life. It could be about a loved one, a friend, your children, or it could be about someone that you haven't spoken to for a long time. It could also be about someone that passed away as well, someone that crossed over, uh, leaving you a message. Okay. Aquarius, if you're dealing <clears throat> with a Virgo, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Virgo, okay, we'll start with the bottom part and work ourselves up. If you're dealing with a Virgo, what is uh, what do they want to say? You are hard to forget. They're excited. I'm sending you telepathic messages and I can't walk away. I don't want to miss my chance with you. Okay, that's it. This is for Virgo. Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they have grief. They're fantasizing. No one else matters now. I remember everything you said. They have envy. They're feeling nostalgic. They're controlling. They have shame. You're, you are the only one who truly gets me. I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me, and I'm choosing you. This is if you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Aquarius. They're feeling stuck. They have repressed emotions. And I won't let you go. They're angry. There's a secret here. And I'm making plans. Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. Anything else with Sagittarius? Yes. I am overcoming my fears and the changes are real. Okay. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Aquarius, a Cancer. They're feeling cold at this time. They're guarded. They have good intentions and we will be together again. They have repressing emotions and I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. It's hard for me to explain things. They're stressed. They're feeling annoyed. I have, I have, I've been having weird dreams about us and I want a future with you. If you're dealing with an, uh, an Aquari Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aries, wait for me. I don't care what people think anymore. You changed my whole direction. I am trying to figure things out. Anything else? Yes. They have regret. They're passionate. My karmic story is ending and they have sadness. If you're dealing Aquarius with a Pisces, they have anger. They, they, they are triggered. You will always be my secret love. I want, I want to be vulnerable with you. 
they're feeling anxious, apologetic. Be patient with me, please. I want to talk to you. Trust me. Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Libra, I regret how I handled things before. I miss you more than you know. They're calm. They're daydreaming. They're confused. They're bitter. I just want to go back in time. They're indecisive. And at the same time, at times, they're also excited. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, they have resentment. They're heartbroken. They're nervous. They are safe. They also have joy in their life. They're anxious. They're nostalgic. I am still moved by you. They have guilt. They're blocking. And they are also compassionate. Anything else for Scorpio? Yes. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. Anything else for Scorpio? No, that's it. Okay. Now, if you're dealing with another Aquarius, Aquarius, or this is about you, you deserve more. You were so unexpected. Our eye contact is insane. You hit me out of nowhere. At times, you're feeling wishy-washy, annoyed, and you are old flames. What we have is soul recognition. They have doubts. They're loving. Your words speak to me like no others can. And I can't stop thinking about you. All right, so this is your bonus round. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're going to look at the crystals that you will need for this week. What crystals do you need for this week? The crystal that you will need this week, you have two here. They almost look alike in color. Okay, so the first one is amethyst, right? So that's, that's a dark purple to lavender and mostly transparent. The healing properties, it increases psychic ability, intuitive powers. It promotes calming of the mind and deep sleep. It aids in sobering and clarifying the mind. Protects against negative influences, supports during life transitions and changes, enhances dream retention and meditation, and it wards off nightmares and psychic attacks. And the chakra is a crown and the third eye. Okay. And it cleanses the aura and chakras, dis dissipates negative energies, and helps those transitioning out of this world. Amethyst. Next one is Sagalite. Sagalite. And the appearance is opaque and lightly banded in purple, violet, and black. The healing properties, it helps spiritual awareness and channeling, pr protects the soul from sh shock and trauma. It brings light and love to every situation. It benefits th those who feel hurts, not their own, relieves sorrow, fear, and grief, and can help the mind with dyslexia. And this is all the chakras. And so it, it opens all the chakras, promotes spiritual love and wisdom, can answer life's greaters, uh, greater questions, and encourages self-forgiveness. So Segalite and Amethyst are the crystals that you will need this week. Now I'm going to take out my sacred geometry. Let's see what uh, what card is chosen for you. And then I will give you your affirmation. Aquarius. Too many cards. Only one card, please. got a frequency card number 23 so let's look at it together okay so your frequency card is my body is safe and loved okay so um it's 174 frequency hertz 
So this is your affirmation. My body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. Again, my body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. And so it is. If a 174 frequency has been drawn, you are experiencing pain somewhere within your body. This may be a muscular or a skeletal in nature and may be a headache. You may have an illness or a sign of this ease that is affecting an organ or bodily system. Whew. Okay. Okay, so they're saying here chronic stresses such uh, as those involving financial security can be a cause of some of the physical pain we may experience. Studies have also shown that genetics too can play a role in our physical health and wellness. Much evidence supports the view that ep epigenics can also play a significant role in our well-being physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Uh, also, disease, as we know, it is isn't usually something that just happens spontaneously. It's something that happens progressively over a period of time. I'm just, uh, okay, where am I now? Okay, um, if we do not attain physical, mental, and emotional, spiritual balance, and balances can eventually manifest in the physical after penetrating through one's auritic layers. Okay, so here it says, to help relieve your pain, listen to the tone 174 hertz. Sit or lie down in a quiet place and allow yourself to absorb the frequency of the stone down into your cellular level, sending loving and positive thoughts to the areas affected. Visualize the pain releasing, moving out of your body and transmuting into a butterfly. Watch it gently flutter away as it leaves your physical body. Repeat this as often as you require, Aquarius. Okay, so, and, the, and uh, if you want to uh, listen to this music, you could also uh, use a rose quartz uh, or a selenite, malachite, there's so many, sagalite, and smoky quartz. Okay, so uh, rose quartz, selenite, malachite, sagalite, and smoky quartz. All right, 174 hertz. And now last but not least, we'll take out a card here from Star Seed Oracle to see what your Star Seed family wants to tell you. Aquarius. You got two cards. They're saying surrender to the sweetness. Surrender to the sweetness. Says your Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. And you're not alone. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Something's coming in for you. you. And I feel it in the energy. That's beautiful in these cards. So Aquarius, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back. And I love you. All this will pass and everything is going to be okay. Remember, we are one and that we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.